view of downtown Detroit is seen from the riverfront on a beautiful day here in the Motor City. Welcome, everyone. The regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analysts, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, for all of the star power Blake Griffin had when he was in Los Angeles, it was tough for him to be the leader of the Clippers. There were bigger voices in the locker room, such as CP3 and Doc Rivers. But Pistons coach Dwayne Casey said, in Detroit, he's definitely the leader. When he speaks, everybody listens. This is his team. Kevin? Yeah, and he has their confidence. David, thank you. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Wiggins and Covington fill the wings. Morris is out there with Towns, and it's Jones in at the point. And for Detroit, Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. And it's Robinson in at the three, the small forward. So Detroit will get the first possession. Over to the left wing. The fadeaway. No good that time. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Here's Jones. Towns at the elbow. Over Drummond. Towns, no luck. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. It always feels good getting that first one in the bank. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. Moves back up, and it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Griffin, and then Griffin with the dunk. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Well, it can't get worse than this. 0 for 4 to start. Kennard kicks to Jackson. The pass to Griffin. Six to shoot. Back to Jackson. For the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Jackson's got five points so far. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Here's Jones. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Wiggins drives in, and it's sent back by Drummond. Outside Robinson, pass to Jackson. Over Morris, and the Pistons getting another bucket right there. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Jones, the pass to Towns. Looking to end the run. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Drummond. Pistons leading by 11. Oh, Griffin in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Jones kicks to Wiggins. Back to Jones. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Pistons. Wasted no time on that one. Jackson's got nine points. Boy, he's heating up fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. And the Timberwolves call time here. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Making a switch here. Charge has checked in. Pistons on defense. It's a 13 point game. Higgins outside. To stop the drought. The shot. No good. The Pistons go the other way with it. To the middle. Here's Robinson. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Higgins outside. He feeds it to Charge. Outside, Towns. Outside, Covington. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. And you've got to be able to show some resiliency, right? Keep pounding away, and it finally falls for you. And it's Drummond missing. Timberwolves trail by 13. Inside, Towns. And the dunk by Towns. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. Here's Jackson. And the rejection by Towns. Wiggins finds Towns, and the dunk by Towns. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. And Drummond throws it down. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. No doubt, Greg. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Now, here's Covington. Launches a three. Great D that time from Griffin. That will count. No good on that one. And so it's the Detroit Pistons. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be right back after this. One of the most high-powered scorers in the game, Carl Anthony Towns knows it's important to keep his teammates involved. You know, everyone has to get some of the sugar, you know, so making sure you're not just being a ball haul. So I'm just always trying to make sure that I'm taking wide-open shots that I think everyone in the team would love for me to take if I have the opportunity. But also, at the end of the day, making sure everyone gets a chance to be in the candy shop. Well, when you're attracting, Greg, all that defensive attention, it creates opportunities for your teammates. And Towns wants to win big. To do that, though, it's not enough to get numbers. You've got to make your teammates better as well. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in score for. And uh, the Pistons have been rolling right along, haven't they? impressive start they came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed what terrific work at the offensive end they have built some early momentum here and now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset our lineups and so in the game for the Timberwolves Robert Covington out there with Sharks then it's Carl Anthony Town and it's a Kogi in at the two just a solid performance on the interior the rebounding has been off the chart Kennard, the pass to McConnell. Pass to Drummond. 
Rebound, Minnesota. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. It's good, and the Pearson lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Covington. McConnell passes to Kennard. Back to McConnell. Let's it go from deep. No good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Akogi, the pass to Towns. Charge trying to break free. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. Pass to Kanaan. Coming in the post. Left side, Davis. McConnell in the corner. Fires for three. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. He might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Down low and stolen by Drummond. Robinson goes in and it goes out of bounds. That one off Covington. Some changes for Minnesota. Marjanovic checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Marcus Morris subbed in for Robert Covington. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And the pass to Davis. Pistons passing it around. Here's Truman. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And that's now six points for Drummond. Here's Wanamaker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Morris. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Well, just so good at taking advantage of the mid-range. Marcus Morris feels comfortable in that area. High arcing shot. And Drummond is right there. Drummond's got eight points. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And the Timberwolves call time. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? change here. Jackson's checked in. Minnesota also making some changes. Wiggins comes in for Josh Okogi. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Brad Wanamaker. Now, here's Marjanovic. No points in the game yet for him. Wiggins passes to Marjanovic. Can't hit that one. Good D by Drummond. Here's Jackson. Trying to get open is Davis. And Jackson gets it to go. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now here's Wiggins. It's good. Now this guy can do it anytime he wants. Andrew Wiggins with broad shoulders to carry the load there. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. Timberwolves trail by 15. Upside Jones over Robinson. Jones, no luck. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Bobbed up 
there for Drummond. Deft touch on the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And it's Wiggins missing. Detroit leading by 17. Jackson kicks to Davis. Now, here's McConnell. Covered by Wiggins. Here's Davis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first, first foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throw. good on that. Good on the second free throw. Here's Jones. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes it to Marjanovic. Up and in on the layup. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Pistons lead by 16. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Andrew, they shot the lights out in the first half. What has to change? Uh, get back. You know, focus on getting back, guarding your man. Uh, and I'll take these real. It starts with a man-on-man -man challenge. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Looking at the Pistons, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in game one with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? They have run their offense straight out of a coach's textbook. Both ball and player movement have been excellent. And the result of all that movement, almost all high quality shots they're generating it's pretty to watch very good fundamental basketball check what you think about minnesota well uh one reason they're getting roasted aka blown out poor rebounding way too many one and done possessions i don't want to see guys drip between their legs and shoot not enough fundamentals hey box out one-on-one -on -one. maintain position one-on-one -on -one. learn how to play basketball one-on-one -on -one. things like that Ernie. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. One of the stories here, Reggie Jackson getting it done today. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. And it's Robinson in at the three spot. That's the five and the four for the Pistons. You get the sense that Carl Anthony Towns, as young as he is, knows he can be the best player in the league. There isn't a phase on the offensive end from which he can't score it. No 
good on the free throw. He's off on the second. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. It's Jackson with the draw. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Jones against Jackson. Jones, the pass to Towns. No good on the three. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Outside Jackson. Pass to Griffin. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Timberwolves trail by 18. Pass to Covington. Outside Towns. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That'll be his second foul of the game. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Now Jones. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Trains the three-pointer. This guy gets up in the air so smoothly. Andrew Wiggins, a nice foundation for that shot. Morris against Jackson. It's Kennard. Top of the key. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Timberwolves trail by 15. Here's Wiggins, banked in off the glass. Wiggins has got seven points in the game. Yeah, I like this for Wiggins. Keep putting the ball on the deck and taking it at the rim. Shoots from eight. No good off the back of the rim. Boy, as slow a start as you can have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Jones dishes to Wiggins. Shot clock at five. Towns, and it's Towns on the follow. Towns has got his third basket of the night. Well, there's a willingness to mix it up on the glass, and that's a big plus for Carl Anthony Towns. Coming in the post, defended by Towns. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot, gave a little pump fake, and then off to the races. Griffin looking around. And there it is for him. 14 points for Drummond. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's Wiggins, and it's sent back by Drummond. And he's able to get it back. It's good, and the Pearson lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Wiggins. To the paint, it's tipped. And here's Jones. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Wiggins outside. Five to shoot. Towns. Another shot. And it's good on the way up. Towns has got it back down to single digits for Minnesota. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Jackson finds Drummond. He gets that one. Drummond's got 16 points. A, a tall and powerful big. Drummond has a natural ability to finish inside. Here's Wiggins. Some solid defense from Robinson. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. The Pistons have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. That's good from Blake Griffin. 
And Griffin has battled knee injuries during his career, but, but his persistence is incredible. Still a nightly double-double threat. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Detroit. Minnesota also making some changes. Sharks checked in for Marcus Morris. Brewer comes in for Robert Covington. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Jones. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by 13. Left side, Sharich. Count that one. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Now, here is Robinson. Outside Griffin. Second chance effort. Here's Drummond. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Wiggins. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Pistons ahead, up by 15. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. And a look at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth. Charge is out there with Brewer. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. And it's Wanamaker in at the point guard position. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Wiggins against Griffin. Here's the pass to Sharich. Let's it go from 14. Detroit leading by 17. Oh, Griffin in position. Up high to stop the alley -oop. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love, Greg, is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Count it good. Wiggins has got nine points now in just the second half. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Robinson kicks to Griffin, passes to McConnell, outside Robinson. Good, and McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got three assists in the game. Timberwolves trail by 20. Here's Wanamaker, right wing. From eight, good on the bucket. And that's 12 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. McConnell scanning the floor. Pass to Robinson. Three-pointer. Rebound, Minnesota. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Wiggins outside. Pass to Towns. Charge trying to break free. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Simply crushing it right now. So much more accurate in the second half than he was in the first. And it's Davis at the elbow. Robinson kicks to Jackson. Outside for Robinson. And the rejection by Towns. 
Well, his value to this team on both ends. Not many guys can defend the perimeter and the rim the way Towns can. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Our timeout called by Detroit. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Jordan player of the game, Andre Drummond. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. You know, that's how you send a message to open a series. There's always one player who's the difference maker in the playoffs. And I think we found our man. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Dwayne Casey talk to his team. He likes where things are headed, but he cautioned them to play smart the rest of the way. He said carelessness with the ball, with assignments, with rotations, any of that can undo what we've worked to accomplish so far. Kevin, they are so close. Outside Jackson. And that one is off. Towns with the defensive effort. Shot from 16. It's good. And the Pearson lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Andrew Wiggins. Boy, you realize how fast Wiggins is moving when he pulls up on a dime like that. To the wing on the left. Here's Griffin. He goes right over Marcus Morris who slams it down. And one for the highlight reel. And you see after multiple knee surgeries, Griffin can still get up. Jones, the pass to Towns. Good work there as it goes. Towns has got six points in the quarter. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Here's Griffin. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Griffin's got 12 points in just the second half. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Pistons. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned him the W. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Drummond. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Outside, Covington. And there's the pass to Wiggins. Count it. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Griffin with it. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And, and you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Blake, very strong game offensively. What gave you the confidence to take over? I'm just putting in the work of my teammates, honestly, believing in me and telling me to be confident at the end of the game. So um, I owe a lot to them. They, they came up with big plays. Um, just everybody working together. Very good win for you tonight, Blake. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. 
Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.